everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favorite bird, Archie! Yay! It's been a little while since I filmed an AliExpress haul. This was my last one here. I had a lot of fun making that. I got some really interesting and unique finds. Today's video is showing off some clothes that I picked up. I also have another video coming out where I have really interesting, random, eclectic finds from AliExpress, like Hello Kitty items, there's accessories, there's iron-on patches, all sorts of things like that. There's even a Hello Kitty mobile phone. That one will be out soon, so don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so you know when I post those sort of videos. But uh, as for today's video, I have a lot of mesh tops in today's video, so if you're not so interested in wearing mesh tops underneath t-shirts, then this may not be the video for you. I do have some other stuff in here too. Anyway, without further ado, without too much more talking, I really want to show you this stuff because I'm so happy with what I picked up. First thing's a little bit... Uh, questionable because I actually bought this because a whole bunch of people were sending it to me. Turns out uh, AliExpress did me a heck and decided to use one of my pictures that I posted on Instagram. Uh, this one here. Now I posted this picture of myself wearing these pants from Dolls Kill and uh, some seller on AliExpress decided to uh, rip that image straight off my Instagram and post it on their page with the same pants for sale apparently the same pants. Uh, I had very little faith that they would be as nice as the ones from Dolls Kill, and um, they're definitely not. I have both pants here. The Dolls Kill pants, I think they were at least $50, I can't quite remember. The AliExpress ones, 23 Now I'm just gonna hold these up and test you guys and see if you might be able to tell which one's which just based on looking at them. Here we are. What do we think? Which one is Dolls Kill and which one is AliExpress? Any thoughts, Archie? So these are the Dolls Kill Pants here. They're very, very heavy. There's a lot of fabric here. The, the legs are very, very long. There's a huge amount of fabric to actually create that bell bottom at the base. That is the bell bottom of a single pant leg from the Dolls Kill ones. Now if I pick up the AliExpress ones, because they used my image, they are definitely trying to sell them as the exact same pants. They do have the sort of underwear layer on the inside, the extra white layer, but when we look at the bottom, so that's, that's the bottom of the AliExpress ones. So there is still a fair bit of fabric in the bell bottom. Nowhere near as much fabric as there is in uh, the Dolls Kill pants. And also color wise, you might be able to tell, I don't know if my lighting will make it too difficult to see. The Dolls Kill pants are a very, very light blue. They're very pale pastel blue. These ones are kind of like a darker blue. And when I feel them, just overall, the ones from Dolls Kill, they are thicker, they feel more expensive, they are more expensive, but I guess as far as a knockoff goes, these are all right. <laughs> so these look kind of ridiculous with this really strange diaper going on. The Dolls Kill pants also looked ridiculous, but at least the inner part wasn't as visible as the inner part on these ones from AliExpress. Ah. The mesh is extremely comfortable, I will give it that, but they just look a little bit, I guess you could say inadequate compared to the Dolls ah. Kill ones. They're not as long and the bottom is nowhere near as flared as the pants from Dolls Kill. As far as a cheap copy goes, I guess it passes, but what angers me is they're using my my picture of the Dolls Kill pants to sell these and these are nowhere near the ones in the picture that I posted. Okay so next up is this mesh rainbow uh, bodysuit so I haven't done it up yet. It is actually quite long, it does look like it will fit my torso. Sometimes when I buy bodysuits and they clip up at the bottom they are very very uh, short on my torso so this one feels like it should do up fine. It's a turtleneck and this was only $11. Throughout this video I'm sure that you're going to see designs that you've seen on other websites and if you do let me know down below and tell me where the original is from. Sometimes what I don't know though is has a store purchased a specific design from a wholesaler from China, for example, from a factory in China that's being mass produced and have they sold it on their own website and then become famous for it? Or has AliExpress copied the design? Obviously, I think there's a little bit of both going on on AliExpress, but uh, yeah, if you see anything in today's video and you know if there's another place that you can purchase it, if there's a, an original creator, drop a comment below. I will try and put as many links as I can. As for this turtleneck, I think $11 for this is fantastic. <laughs> This feels so comfortable. I was kind of concerned with some of these mesh tops that they'd be scratchy. Sometimes mesh isn't forgiving and it isn't very, very soft, but this one is really, really cozy and I love that it's a turtleneck. I'll be able to wear t-shirts over the top of this and I love that the rainbow print will spill out over the top and uh, the colors are perfect. The yellow, blue, purple, pink, that's my color scheme. I love it. No green, unfortunately. 
Okay, so I've done up the bodysuit. Hello. A little tip for when you're shopping on AliExpress, what I like to do is sort the page by uh, highly reviewed. There's filters available and you can choose products that have been purchased a lot of times and then you can also look at the reviews. A lot of these clothes, I did that. I didn't order things that only had like one or two sales. I tend to order things that have at least a hundred sales and that have a fair few reviews. Okay, I picked this next one up for just $12, which I think is amazing. It's so cute. There's no itchy parts anywhere on this. The one thing I did notice though, as I pulled it over my head, I put a small hole in it right here. My fingers actually went through it. It's a bit like when you put on stockings because the mesh is so fine. That's a, an issue for me because this would be quite difficult to fix something like this. I don't know how you can really sew such fine mesh. I'm gonna have to work out if, if you've got any suggestions on how I can fix that hole, how you can patch up a hole that's in a mesh top, please let me know. As far as the design, yes, that's right. There is a little tiny love heart zip just here. This zips all the way up. I prefer the look of it when it's unzipped. The colors on this top are incredible. This is the most beautiful pastel gradient checkered shirt ever. If you know if there's a original design for this somewhere floating around on the interwebs, please leave a comment because I'd love to buy the original one. I'm sure that if this comes from another website, if it's a stolen design, just like the Dolls Kill Pants, I'm sure that the original version of this wouldn't have the issue with pushing your fingers through the mesh. That is really, really bad. So I don't know if for $12 I would recommend it because you might bust a hole in it the first time that you wear it like I did just then and unless I can fix that this isn't going to be very much use to me so uh, that's my thoughts on that next up we have this butterfly top now this isn't a sheer mesh top this is quite a stretchy fabric it's kind of this very smooth silky almost satin touch but it's elasticy if you know the name of that please tell me this is an unusual color it's kind of, I guess you would say like a creamish color. It's definitely not white. This will look lovely underneath, uh, let's say a black, ah. a black cami dress. This would be so pretty. I can imagine a black cami dress with like a black beret on the top and thigh high black boots. This top is actually quite long. Obviously I much prefer it tucked into a skirt. I like that because it's slightly elasticy, you can pull it down lower if you need to and it sits very tight on your skin. So I think that it's quite flattering. I love fitted tops ah. like this. This was $22 and I would happily pay $22 again for this quality. It's fantastic. Okay, so I've just put on this cami dress over the top. This is a $45 dress. It is the most expensive item from today's video, but I am in love with it. I think it's so nice. I love that these straps here are chunky straps. I love that it's got this interesting pocket detail running all the way down here. And it has uh, these little cords here, drawstrings. So if you wanted to make the dress any shorter, you can. You just have to pull on the strings and it'll all sort of bunch up like that. It's got a, an embroidery detail just here. It's kind of like a, a cross with some flowers hanging out of it. It zips up at the back. So many of the tops from today's video would look really, really nice underneath this. I think especially a blue one. If I put a blue top under this, because I love the color combination of blue and pink, I think that that would be lovely. I'm in love with this top. This is incredible. This is an $11 top, which is so, so worth it. Again, this mesh is super comfortable. I haven't been unhappy yet with any of the mesh tops that I've tried. The butterfly design is stunning, and I love that it's a two-tone purple. It goes from a very, very light lilac to a deeper purple. I don't know if I would pair this with uh, pink clothes or any other sort of bold colors because there is a fair bit going on here, but I would just keep it neutral with like basic tops over the top. These tops, a lot of them had free shipping to Australia, which is great. Sometimes when you purchase off Wish, for example, the price that's advertised is not what you pay, because you end up paying a fair bit more for shipping. But on AliExpress, they do have free shipping to Australia for a lot of their parcels. It's uh, an e-packet, they call it. It's some sort of deal that we have with the Chinese government where they send stuff for free. Now, I don't know about your country. I have had other people tell me, uh, say for example, people in Europe trying to purchase things from AliExpress and apparently the shipping is astronomical. I guess there's some countries that are luckier than others when it comes to this uh, website. For me, $11 with free shipping, that is a steal and I'm so happy with this one. Okay, so I picked up this next top because someone actually left it in a comment underneath an ASOS video of mine. So ages ago I did this ASOS video and I actually bought a Lazy Oaf sweater on ASOS and from memory it was maybe $200. I can't quite remember. I'll put it up here. That's the original and someone left a comment and they said, hey, can you buy this one from AliExpress and tell me if it's worth the money ah. because they really wanted it and they didn't want to buy the Lazy Oaf one. Now, obviously everyone has different opinions when it comes to this because it is art theft, especially when you've got a, an independent artist that has created it and they are the one that should be getting the 
money for it. Uh, obviously, everyone has a different opinion, and I like to I like to help as many people as I can. And I understand that there are people out there that want to be able to buy things for less. It's like designer dupes; they can't afford the real thing. They still want the look. They'll go for a fake. Feel free to have a discussion down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on this. I don't want to see any heated discussions. I know people get very, very passionate about this particular topic, but let's have a conversation down below. Bye. Let me know your opinion. As far as this top goes, if someone was wanting to purchase this off AliExpress, they can't afford the original, then I would say this is definitely worth it. It's only $28. It's beautiful. It feels exactly the same as the original. Literally, if I had the original side by side with this, maybe the original was the tiniest bit thicker. I've only bought this because I wanted to Hi. review it for the person that asked. If I wanted to get this design, I would have Hi. just kept the Lazy Oaf one because that is the original. But when I purchased that Lazy Oaf one and I felt the quality of it, I thought it was an absolute ripoff, so I returned it. But as far as this top goes for $28, I do love the design of it. I have worn this a fair few times, so uh, looking forward to hearing your thoughts below. Okay, Archie doesn't like designer ripoffs. Okay, so this next top is a $7 top. This one is uh, a little bit sheer. Now that it's stretched over here, you can see through to my bralette. I am wearing a nude bralette underneath, so I feel like I would definitely have to wear a black bralette under this for it to not show. But for $7, I'm more than happy to put up with this being a little bit sheer. This is adorable. This isn't as long as the butterfly top that I tried on, and it's nowhere near as stretchy. This is uh, obviously cheaper. The butterfly Bye. top, though the same material or similar material, that one was $20 something dollars and way more stretchy than this. This one's a little bit tight. Can't really move my arms in it as well as I could in the other one. And also when I sort of stretch out like this, look how see-through it goes. If I just kind of hunch over like this and it goes back to its natural state. No, you can't wear my hair as an accessory. Sorry. This will definitely be really, really nice underneath cami dresses or underneath t-shirts. Again, like all of these things, feel like they would all go so well with that look. Now that I'm wearing this for a little bit longer, I actually do think that this is a slightly different material to the butterfly top because this is getting very, very warm, like sweaty, uncomfortable kind of warm, whereas the other one was far more breathable. So that's something to keep in mind. But again, for $7 and free shipping on this one for me, cannot complain in the slightest. Okay, so this next top is an absolute nightmare. Do not recommend. This is a $4 mesh top. It's got these cute little white stars all over it. This fabric, this is awful. It's kind of like cheesecloth, but it's so scratchy and some of the edges aren't finished very well. And there's these very, very sharp little bits of the mesh sticking into my skin. And it's so uncomfortable. If I put my arms down, ugh, ugh. <laughs> Do not like! No, no, no! This is such a waste! I don't think I will ever, ever be able to wear this. Yes, it was $4 with free shipping, but there's no point wasting that sort of money, even if it is only $4. There's no point wasting money on something that may just end up going to landfill. I mean, I'll probably have to donate this because I don't want it to just go in the bin, but then some poor sucker would get it from a thrift store and then they'd be stuck feeling itchy too. So this one is a giant catastrophe for me. Hopefully you get the idea of what this top is supposed to be like. If you know where I could pick up a top very similar to this, but in a comfortable mesh, please let me know down below. Okay, so I picked up this t-shirt for about $15, I think it was, which is an absolute steal. This is glorious. How adorable is this? Especially with this denim skirt. I think that this is so cute. Yes, that's right. It has this kind of derpy butterfly on it. The butterfly is a little bit misshapen. I don't know if that's on purpose or if it's like a, a problem with the printing or the embroidery. It's not quite the right shape. Well, no, I think it's probably deliberate. I think it's like a stylized butterfly. But the colors in this t-shirt and the fit of it, perfect. It's quite stretchy too. How could I turn this down? This is a ribbed knit. It's a very light fabric, but it's not so light that it's transparent. You can't see my bra through this, you can't see anything through it, which is fantastic. Sometimes, like with that cherry top, you know how that was, it stretched across here and then it suddenly became transparent. But this is really nice thick fabric, it's very comfortable, very soft to the touch. This feels very well made as well. If I went into a store, you know, like Forever 21 or Zara or H&M, this is the exact same quality that you would get from a store like that. Just because it's a cheap top from AliExpress, it does not feel cheap. It doesn't feel like a, a cheap Chinese shirt or anything like that. It feels just like the quality you would get in any old store that you'd walk into at the mall. The thing about AliExpress is you're going to find things that you won't find at the mall. You're not going to find something like this if you go to your local shopping centre. Maybe you will if you're in Japan or something, but I mean in Australia I had 
very, very rarely see pastel rainbow shirts. I was very, very happy to find this one. And I'm 98% certain that this is a knockoff of uh, another brand. Please tell me what the original is. I will have to buy the original if you guys can link it to me and tell me where it's from. I would love to support the original creator of this because this is a fantastic design. And uh, if you guys see me linking the originals in the description box, I would recommend that you go for those instead of the copies if you can afford it. Give the original creator the recognition that they deserve and uh, the coin deserves to go to them too because they were the ones that designed it and some Chinese factory has knocked it off. So uh, anyway, on to the next one. This top is so tight. Uh. <laughs> so this is a $6 top. Now this is a cherub print top. I actually have this same top in blue from Dolls Kill. I think this color is quite flattering on my skin tone. I know that if I go for very, very white tops, they kind of wash me out. So this one is definitely more flattering than a pure white one would be on me. I do have a white mesh top coming up soon. The first few mesh tops that I showed you were very, very soft and so comfortable and so lovely to wear. This one is not necessarily uncomfortable, but the mesh is definitely more stiff than the mesh on the other tops. But this was only $6, which is incredibly cheap for a design like this. There's a lot of um, controversy around this cherub print because Dolls Kill came out with the cherub prints for their Valentine's Day collection. And a lot of people were saying that it was a ripoff of Motel Rocks. No, I, I don't actually know. There is a couple of companies that sell cherub print mesh tops. So if anyone knows where the original cherub print mesh came from. I mean, no one can really trademark the cherub print because is that not from the Renaissance period? I am not well versed in my classical art. Who came up with the cherubs on the mesh top first? That's what I want to know. But uh, AliExpress has it for $6 and I think it's quite nice. Definitely not as nice in terms of the fabric. I don't know how these mesh tops differ. I don't know if it's just the percentage of acrylic and nylon or whatever it is that they use in different percentages that make it very, very soft or not so soft. But on the softness scale, Archie would be a an eight, maybe. The butterfly top would be a seven, and this would be a four. No, you're, you're not a 10, Archie. I'm sorry. Okay, so you know what I was saying about white kind of washing me out? So this is a white, very, very silky, stretchy top. It definitely washes me out much more so than the cream colors, but I adore this so much. This is a $21 top. Now, interestingly enough, I've seen this exact top on countless websites. I've seen it on Verge Girl, I've seen it on Fashion Nova and Shein and Romwe and AliExpress and Wish and so many places. I have seen this even in my in local stores as well. This is definitely a more loose fabric than what the other butterfly one was. The other butterfly top really hugged my arms. This one has a little bit of sort of give here. It's a little bit more loose in the sleeves, so it's nowhere near as tight. This is quite a long top. I've tucked it into the skirt, but if I pull it out, it comes right down to there. It's very comfortable. Once again, it is very, very warm though, so uh, I don't know how long I'll be able to wear this in front of the lights for. We are going into summer in Australia, so these sort of tops I'm not going to get that much wear ah. out of later in the year, but going into the cooler weather, I will wear this a lot. I know you guys are in fall right now in the States. This sort of stuff, perfect for fall weather, particularly butterflies. I think of butterflies because I guess butterflies being orange and the fall colors are always orange So butterflies and fall go nicely together even though butterflies probably prefer springtime. I Don't know much about nature But $21 for this top major ups major major thumbs up from me because this is Glorious and I love it and I feel so early 2000s. If you've uh, purchased a butterfly top like this from somewhere, tell me where you got yours from. I actually have a Shein video coming up soon. I have two of this exact top coming from Shein. One is a plus size version and one is a standard version. We're doing a plus size versus standard size comparison. I'm so curious to see if the butterfly top that looks exactly like this on the Shein website, I wonder if it is exactly the same one as from AliExpress. Hmm. Okay, so this looks a little bit what? funny because I'm only wearing a bralette underneath it, but this is a $5 mesh top and it's got cute little love hearts all over it, but the love hearts are actually just stuck on. I thought that they would be part of the mesh, but they're not, and a couple of the love hearts actually fell off while I was putting this on. So, I mean, what can you expect for $5? But that being said, I have found a lot of these really cheap tops that felt really, really good quality. This is nowhere near as scratchy as the white one. I don't know what was up with that white one. This is far more comfortable. The good thing about the black is if I wanted to dress up my pastel wardrobe a little bit, still wear the pastel clothes, but wear something like 
black like this underneath. Okay, so this top is a $10 top. This is again a very, very comfortable mesh. Not like the cherub top that was a little bit scratchy. This is extremely comfortable. I love this design. This is beautiful. I love the short sleeves and I love that it's a turtleneck as well. It's easy to get over your head. Ah. Sometimes I worry with these sort of fabrics that like what happened with the checkered one, that when you're pulling it over your head, if it's mesh, you might damage the mesh. But there's plenty of give in this mesh. It's very, very stretchy. So luckily, you're not gonna have that same problem. If it's a very stiff mesh, that's when you end up putting holes in it, and especially if it's so Hi. thin. This is thin mesh, but it's super, super stretchy. So this goes over the head really easily. $10 for this, and free shipping to Australia as well, Definitely worth it. I'm so happy with this. The only issue is that when you buy these things from China, I think that this took maybe like a month to arrive. So it's almost like Christmas. You order the stuff and then you forget about it and then it turns up on your door and you're like, what's this? And you unbox it and you're like, oh, that's right. And then you, you get that warm fuzzy feeling like Christmas time, like you've just gifted yourself an adorable little top and you didn't have to pay that much for it. So this one is a great success. Okay, so this next one has turned out to be a great success. I was very nervous about this. This was $17. Now this is actually a bodysuit. I ordered this in a medium because I was worried that if I ordered it in a small, I wouldn't be able to button it up at the bottom. This material is not stretchy Bye. in the slightest. This is very similar material to what a button up shirt would be made of. So it's not stretchy in the slightest, but it does have a zipper on the side. Now the best part about this, aside from the fact that it's off the shoulder and has these really interesting pinched in sleeves, the best part is the back. This laces up at the back. So it laces all the way up. Now I haven't done the best job of lacing this because I'm trying to do it by myself but it laces all the way like that. This came in a couple of different colors. I had to get the blue because I just, I love sky blue, but I think that this was available in black. It may have even been in white and pink. It had size options too. It wasn't just one size fits all. This was the medium, like I said. If you are an Australian size six, for example, you might want to go for the medium. I feel like a small would just be a little bit too small. I don't know how you'd go getting it done up at the torso. And also it has a section around the waist that doesn't stretch very far. And I really had to squeeze in through it and once I got it over my shoulders then it was fine but it was kind of difficult even with the zip on the side and undoing that it was still kind of difficult to dive my head through yeah. it. So I do recommend sizing up when it comes to bodysuits and things like this and like I said it is a bodysuit so it comes all the way down so uh, you can wear this with pants and you don't have to worry about it sort of riding up and the clip is really easy to do up and undo as well so if you have to go to the bathroom or anything you don't really have to fight with this to get back into it. So this one is a great success and for only $17, so happy. This top is only $6. This is one of my favorites. I love color block anything. Color block windbreakers, color block jackets, color block shirts and t-shirts and mesh shirts. This is so good. I love the color combination. I really like that it's red and blue and yellow. This is by far the most comfortable of all of the mesh shirts and for only $6, I was very, very surprised. You know, some of them that are $10 or $15, or whatever I understand I'm like of course they're good quality like it's a $15 top $6 you kind of think yeah how good is it gonna be really this is the most comfortable out of all of them I uh, actually put in thumb holes myself because I'm obsessed with thumb holes on long sleeves I just can't help myself it's a habit I've been in since high school I used to be kind of insecure in high school and I would always pull my sleeves down over my hands and then my fingers would end up sort of putting holes in the sleeves. And now I just love putting holes in things. I'm just so used to wearing them like that now. I love it so much. I am a little bit concerned that in doing that, I am going to ruin the seam. I may end up splitting the seam all the way open. Uh, I might have to put a couple of additional stitches in there to stop that from bursting any further. But anyway, this color combination is fantastic. Of course, with these sheer things, they do look a little bit silly when you just have a bralette on underneath it. But with a t-shirt over the top and the sleeve sticking out, one yellow sleeve and one... Yes, it's, it's very archy, isn't it? It's red just like underneath your wings. Look, just like your underwings. This one is another $6 steal. Cannot believe that this was only $6. This is extremely comfortable too. This mesh is not itchy in any way at all. I really like that it's got a little black trim on the sleeves and also the black trim is around the bottom here as well. I love this style. I personally find it really, really flattering. I'm so glad that this came in pink when I saw that it was uh, white with red hearts. I really hoped that I'd find a pink one. And all I did, I just typed in pink mesh short sleeve heart top or something like that. And this popped up and then I just filtered. There's so many different sellers that sell these tops. I just filtered by most purchased and then I made sure that the ratings were high and 
I am not disappointed in the slightest by this one. This one is so cozy and I'm going to pair it with uh, this very last item, which is uh, some blue, blue cargo pants. Now these are $22. They aren't as long as I would like and they have the pinched in base down here. I much prefer cargo pants that have a wide base. Some people left a comment on my Pretty Little Thing video telling me that I could unpick this at the bottom. I could take out the elastic so that it just hangs open. That is a possibility, but I'm a little bit nervous about doing that because I feel like I would greatly stuff it up. But anyway, who knows? They might not look too bad. These are a very, very unusual material. They feel kind of slippery to the touch and they also feel almost like rain jacket, you know, like a, like a plastic kind of material. It's really, really strange. They have a big pocket on the side here that says Equator, it says Equator Principles on the pocket. Have no idea what that's supposed to mean. Small problem going on just, just here. The thing with cargo pants, I like them to be high-waisted. Personal preference. I have a little bit of a muffin top going on when I wear things lower, so I prefer to wear them on my waist because that's where I have less fat around my waist. These aren't made to be high-waisted. These are made to sit much lower. So when I pull them down a little bit lower, obviously I don't like the way that that sits. I don't find that particularly flattering, but I do quite like these. They're not long enough for me. I would much prefer if they were longer, but I don't think I'm gonna have very much luck finding really long pants on AliExpress. They're not very breathable because of this unusual plastic fabric, so not so happy about that. Another thing that I'm not particularly happy about is that there's only one pocket. Unacceptable. We need at least two pockets. The pants from Pretty Little Thing, I'm pretty sure they had four pockets, so not so happy about that. But also, these are only $22 pants. So if you're looking for brightly coloured cargo pants, $22, free shipping to Australia. This is a pretty good deal. Not my favourites, but I won't complain. So that's it guys, that's everything. I hope you liked today's video. If you uh, liked any of the items in particular, leave a comment down below and tell me what your favourite was. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it. If there's ever any products from AliExpress that you want to see me review, just leave them in the comments below because you guys have uh, a really good eye for interesting and quirky products. I have such a fun AliExpress video coming up soon, not with any clothes, but with some really really cool accessories and fun stuff so uh, hit the notification bell and subscribe if you haven't already so you know when we post that video don't forget to follow me on instagram it's pretty pastel please so with that thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time Mwah!